grace. And um, in this video, I'm going to talk about something that I've mentioned it a little bit before, um, but I want to kind of elaborate or go a different route with it. And um, that is about when, you know, for one thing, these uh, people who have, what I have seen in my life are people who have narcissistic and histrionic behaviors, a blend of them. Some of them were actually diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. And I know some people say that uh, borderline, people with borderline personality disorder, borderline on psycho you know, psychosis, they borderline on all of the, um, the personality disorders, uh, A, B, and C, and, um, you know, and I've heard different things, okay, but the people that I have seen the most really have this narcissistic histrionic blend of behaviors. I'm not diagnosing them. I don't know any of them that have been anybody who's been diagnosed with either one of those. And I do know that um, histrionic personality disorder was considered to be taken out of the DSM. I don't know why. I would not know why. These people can be pure evil and I have seen so many of them. I actually did read something that said why, you know, what was some people's thoughts on why they would do that. But seriously, are they, um, I could go on and on about that itself. What I have seen, the behaviors, oh my goodness. And, uh, you know, you can look up the behaviors in DSM of histrionic personality disorder. Um, and they don't all have the same. They don't all have all of them and so on and so forth. Um, but these, these are people that, what, what a lot of people say is, is how, in a way, amazing it is that it's universal, that you could find somebody here, like say here in Texas in the United States, America, and uh, you can see the same thing in somebody way across the globe. And you know, same type of behaviors. But now, here's the thing. <laughs> They're not going to be the same because the people are different and the situations are different. The behaviors can be similar to one another. You know, like somebody might do, um, you know, proje use projection. And the, you know, somebody across the globe use this projection you see like that but it's not gonna be the exact same way same people all that like I said and uh, but it is kind of interesting that you can see that now as far as it being universal do you think every culture has these I don't know about that I remember when I was a student my degrees are in psychology and sociology and I was a career student I'm let me tell you <laughs> both undergraduate and graduate school and uh, What's going on here but when I was a you know student we they talked about you know like the teenage um, when teenagers become so rebellious and we know that not all teenagers become rebellious and they you know they talked about that and they you know the whole but the actual stage some think of the you know teenage rebellious stage it's not universal that's the one thing that they point out it's not universal it's more like a Western thing because, why? Because it's allowed. Okay, it's expected and it's allowed. It's permitted. Because that's just what they do. You know, that kind of mentality by too many, not everybody, of course, in any of this. But, you know, and I don't remember the research that they used to back that up, but more than one research it would probably be. When you get taught at university, there's more than one usually scholarly research on a topic. So, um, so you have to wonder, are these behaviors actually, you know, these cluster B behaviors, are they actually universal? Or is it just that we know of the ones that do? See? Okay, I, I think some people can understand that. Um, you know, not every, do you think every culture, every place on the planet, the people living there, you know, think of some tribes maybe, or some, you know, what, you know indigenous people, or whatever. Think, do you think they all... All of them have people within them who are narcissistic or who are histrionic or who are, you know, uh, antisocial or who are borderline. Do they all? We don't know. Do we know? <laughs> Has anybody went to that that length and said, oh yeah, it, it's everywhere? Some people do. But I'd like to see the research that states that, that every, because do we know every? Anyway, I'm not an all or nothing, you know, everybody, nobody kind of thinker. Um, but also, here, here's another thing. 
I want to, that, that's one little topic on this, but there's another one too. And that is when, um, because it is common, I, I agree that you can see this, like I said, people from across the globe, people living in across the globe, you can hear people talk about it in many, many places, you know. Um, and it's the same kinds of behaviors, not the same, like I said earlier. And yeah, you know, you can hear that people were diagnosed from different countries, different states, different whatever. And, but here's the thing, you know, it is common. But have you ever run across this? And some of us remember the song, You Are So Vain. You probably think this song is about you. <laughs> and I remember, you know, growing up hearing that and when I was young and thinking, well, it is about them. <laughs> You see, I don't want to hit this guy, his butt sticking out in the road. But anyway, um, th this is the case. You know, like it, it can be the case, not always the case. It can be when you might say something about somebody and they think they're ta that you're talking about them when you're not talking about them. Okay? Okay. But sometimes, yeah, you know. Like when I say things, it's, it can be a, a composite of people I've seen or just of the uh, behaviors I've read about. I mean, really, I mean, it can, it comes from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, what I've seen. Okay, this is what I've seen. And it might not be just the one person. It's just I've seen these, these kinds of behaviors over and over and over again in different people. Now, not everybody I have known in my life has been narcissistic or histrionic. No, or to blend. No, but boy, do they stick out, and there is a pun in that. Is you know, I've said that before, but they they want to stick out. Not all of them, but yeah, plenty of them that I've known. They want to stick out, and they'll do anything, anything, practically anything, to get to stand out. And nobody's going to be in the spotlight for very long, at least. Like with histrionics, they they might lie a little bit, but then that's it. You know, it's back on them now. You know, even in like uh, really bad situations, they'll let the attention be on that person a little bit, but then it has to go right back to them. Really, they'll make it their drama, their trauma, their whatever. Where was I? There was some noise here, so I had I stopped, but uh, recording. Anyway, but, but some of them, I mean, you can tell us one story and it's, it sounds so similar to what another one does. And, and, and that's one of the things I have noticed a lot. Like if, um, especially like if you talk about histrionic people, some people will get so angry about that. I still have my mask on, but um, yeah, I had to stop because the car in front of me went up. But back to this. <laughs> Woo, so many distractions. Well, I am driving. That's most important. And anyway, like I was, I was talking about, you know, if you just, if you even define histrionic behaviors, you know, that like I've defined the ones I have seen in people and some people get really angry and I have to wonder, is there anger because they notice something about themselves in it? We all can have what some people call narcissistic fleas, you know, the bad behaviors you pick up from a narcissistic person. That's what they claim it is. You know, these would be like histrionic fleas, bad behaviors you pick up from somebody. Or it can be just, you know, individual choice. I've mentioned this before. It's the purpose behind it. What's, what's behind it? What's going on? You know, so it's just like I have noticed, uh, definitely noticed how, um, you know, the people with kind of histrionic behaviors, they want to stand out. And they, you know, they're very provocative. Like when they're younger, this is what I've seen. I'm, I'm not saying it's 100% across the board with everybody. But whenever they're younger, like the women, let's talk about women. They'll, they'll wear very provocative clothing and they'll be provocative. Okay, suggestive. And as they, more and more as they mature, they're less so. Okay, the more they age, they are less so. That doesn't mean they're totally gotten over it, gotten past it, no. But I'm talking about, you know, like wearing shirts you can see through, uh, bra optional, you know, very, very low cut where you can basically see everything. Um, whatever it is, 
and they're, they're very loud. They talk very loud. They laugh. They cackle. They laugh like a laughing hyena. Very loud. Very annoying. They, you go to a restaurant with them, and you know, they're going to make sure that, that everybody hears them laugh. Everybody hears them talk. Everybody hears their story. Everybody hears everything. And uh, they're loud all the way with their dress. Their, you know, their bling. Their hair color, maybe. Now I've said this in a video, even recently, that just because a person changes the color of their hair or something like, or wears a large jewelry, that doesn't make them a histrionic person. Okay, there's a lot like the purpose behind it. What is, what's going on all around? I'm not a counselor, and I'm not going to diagnose them. Okay, but when, but these can be very abusive people too. When they want that attention, some of them will go to, like I said earlier any length to get it okay and now my also my experience is these are ones who have quite often not always I want to point that out it's not always they're the ones who often get with people who are narcissistic okay then this is my experience now some would say that's borderline and they get with narcissistic people and like I said I'm not diagnosing them the people I've seen that have these narcissistic behaviors, they, especially, one of the things I noticed about them is both narcissistic and histrionic people, and a blend, you know, the behaviors, they're usually somewhat good looking, like they have something that's a flaw usually on their face. They're not the people who would be picked on by their, because of their appearance. Not all of them. I'm not saying, like I keep saying, it's not 100%. But this is what I've noticed most. If people are not going to really pick on this. Okay. And they, they get with one another who have, uh, you know, apparent, apparently good looking at least. I'm not saying beautiful or handsome, but could be. But usually they have that flaw, like I said. And uh, anybody noting that flaw? Oh, boy. Okay. I don't know which one is going to go here. It was that one. <laughs> I don't want to run out in front of them. But it was a pause there. I don't remember how long they paused because I don't drive that much because of you know what's going on in the world today. Uh, so anyway, you know, before I went so many so often, I knew how long. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Anyway, but to get back to this, you know, anything that you know I could say that like I have experience with a family member from many years ago, from childhood, from whatever. But if they hear that, like, or, you know, like online, somebody, a total stranger, and they hear that this behavior, that behavior, they, they can get offended because they do it themselves. But they're not going to say they do it themselves. They're going to attack the person, the speaker. It doesn't have to be me. Okay, it could be anybody. They will attack them. Because, you know, for various reasons, it, people can attack, you know, it's, it's too close to home to themselves. And it makes them worried. Just be, but just because you hear of something, then you hear of it and uh, like a behavior that, whoops, I do it too. Like I just said, it doesn't make, you know, that doesn't mean that you have that disorder. That's up to a professional to, dis, to determine, okay, if, if you do have that disorder. Yeah. But we all do that in various reasons for various, you know, think of ourselves as, oh, do, am, I, am I narcissistic? Well, everybody's narcissistic to an extent. <laughs> they have narcissistic behaviors. I mean, you eat, don't you? <laughs> I don't like saying that. Sometimes I think, oh, people say, oh, I better not eat. No, I don't think anybody's that goes that far. But yeah, you know, you eat. That's a behavior that, you know, you, that's, a good, that's the good narcissism. Keep yourself alive. There is a good narcissism. You, know, you have to keep yourself alive when you have to eat. And I'm sure there's some exception that some people are not fed, not can't eat, eat. But anyway, back to this. About um, yeah, I have noticed that, especially online. I've I've noticed it quite often. To tell you the truth, it, do, it doesn't matter who's saying it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be me. Um, but some people will get very offended, and they'll. They, when I when I notice it most is when they they um, attack the per the speaker. Okay, they attack this person's um, like me. You know, mine don't always go with the just go. You know, stream. Of, I mean, um, 
they just don't flow all that well. Well, look what I'm doing. Usually. <laughs> so, but no, they'll attack that. You know, yeah. She, she doesn't, she really doesn't know what she's talking about. Yeah, well, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I really do. And um, I taught at college and university. Yes, I really know what I'm talking about. And, and then, like I say, I could be wrong. I'm not 100%. Nobody is perfect. But these are the types, oh, they're perfect. You know, like somebody might attack somebody else and say, yeah, the video is this, this, and this. Well, my attitude about that is, well, I can't wait to see yours. <laughs> so, okay, it's a little funny. But anyway, I got off, uh, going down another tangent. But... I've seen that, and I've seen that people think that it's them that the person is talking about, okay, like if you make a video, they think that the whole story or your your whole channel, I have heard that before, people say that this this person, they won't say the channel name, but they're making a whole channel just about me, really now, <laughs> I've, I've, some of them, they've, somehow, some way it came out which channel it was, you know, over time, and I went and checked it out, and no, it wasn't all about you. But that's that behavior, part of their behavior, some of them. You know, they're going to make themselves center attention, negative, positive, it doesn't matter. You know, but they're going to say that they are the center of somebody else's attention. You know, they are that vain. Okay, everything is about them, good or bad. You know, the people with the more hard histrionic behaviors, in my view, it's all about them. And narcissistic people do that too. It's all about them. Everything, everything's got to be about them. It just happened, you know, the person behind me that rode is, is uh, 35 miles per hour. They want to go faster. And then when I have to slow down to turn, no, they want me to go faster. <laughs> it's all about them. It's not about safety. It's all about them. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I, I'm going to go home, but I wanted to make a little video. I don't know how long this video is. Y'all went with me on the, on the trip. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all in another video.